Father Bob Stokig, Rector of the Guardian Angel Cathedral in Las Vegas, Nevada, coming to you with another one of our weekly reflections on the readings from the Sunday Liturgy. This week, we reflect on the readings that fall on November the 7th in 2021, as we start in earnest to see the end of the liturgical year in sight. This gospel presents a challenge to everybody. In the temple area, Jesus and his disciples are watching. And they watch the rich and the powerful as they leave their gifts. And then they watch a poor widow as she leaves hers. And Jesus reminds the disciples that the widow's gift, which we sometimes refer to as the widow's might, is the best gift because she gives out of her sustenance while the others gave out of their abundance. We think about all the aspects of our lives, whether it's material contributions to the church and charity, whether it is the use of our time in helping others, whether it is our going out of our way to be part of the visible Christian witness in the world, it makes us ask the same question. Are we giving just what's extra? Or do we truly give out of a sense of our sustenance? Jesus observes that this poor widow, and in the Bible, remember, a widow is somebody who can't sustain herself. She has no means of support and so she is at the lowest end of the economic ladder in Jesus's time. She gave perhaps her last shekel that she needed for food, while the rich gave much more, but in reference to the amount that they had to continue to rely on, it was the widow whose example he held up. In your life, where is your generosity? How do you materially, spiritually, with your time, give to help and support others? Is it with the leftovers, with the little bit that you would never miss anyway? Or is it out of a sense of, because I have been blessed by God, I am going to give, perhaps till it hurts a little, so that others may be able to benefit from the blessings which God has already showered me. Tough question. And it's a perfect question in the lectionary in terms of the end of ordinary time, because it's always at the end of the liturgical year where we prepare to see those images of Christ's return at the end of the age and therefore our own sense of where we'll be in the last judgment. It's always in these weeks that we perhaps get a little unsettled because we have to ask the really hard questions like, how do we give and is it from our abundance? Is it out of a sense of sharing the blessings which we have received or is it just what little bit we know we'll never miss? Wherever you are, we hope you and your family are doing well. We want you to know that we keep you in our prayers here at the Guardian Angel Cathedral, and we invite you to pray for us. And if you're watching this from outside the Las Vegas area, we also look in hope to the day that you might come and join us live some weekend for worship here at the Guardian Angel Cathedral in Las Vegas.